Chief Meteorologist Noah Reed, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Good evening, Concho Valley. I'm live here at Dairy Queen for Miracle Treat Day, and I'm here with uh, manager Armando, who has a lot more details that he can provide on why this is such a great day and why the community should get together to help benefit uh, such a great cause. Yes, sir. Um, it's a big thing we do every year for the for the kids here for the Children's Miracle Network. It's a dollar or more um, of, for every blizzard gets uh, donated to the Children's Miracle Network. Like last year, um, U.S. and Canada did about four million dollars for the Children's wow. Miracle That's Network. That's a lot of blizzards, man. A lot of blizzards, a <laughs> lot of ice cream. I mean, yes, sir. And with the temperatures, you know, being so warm as of lately, we're expecting to see those temperatures warm even further so it's not going to be a bad idea to get a blizzard not only today but as we move forward into next week right yes sir for sure so come on by we're up until 11 tonight that's right yes. so you got a few more hours to get that blizzard in and make it for a great cause let's take a look at our almanac for today actually we got to 94 degrees but before we got to 94 degrees we started out on a cool note at 59 that actually broke a record of 60 degrees back in 1989 believe it or not and we are expected to see those temperatures warm even further right now we have cooled down to about 92 degrees dew point at 50 degrees and the humidity level is pretty low with that dry air overhead and easterly wind taking place at 16 miles per hour once again taking a look at the satellite and radar there isn't much going on across the entire state of texas it's not until you get towards new mexico where you see those showers and thunderstorms starting to take place the water vapor satellite shows the exact same thing a lot of dry air overhead indicated by the browns and blacks on your screen just a little bit of moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere over parts of the concho valley temperatures right now at about 90 degrees out towards towards El Dorado and Menard 89 out towards Eden. We're at 91 in Mason and Junction into the upper 80s for you folks in Sonora. We had talked about that gradual warming trend staying with us. We're going to get back into the mid-90s on Fridays, more seasonal nature as we head into the weekend. And unfortunately, if you look out towards the right side of your screen on Tuesday, we're going to be flirting with 100 degrees once again. The upper level weather pattern as we head into the early part of the work week, we see that upper level ridge starting to move into parts of West Texas. It keeps those rain chances minimal, but it also brings back those warmer temperatures that we aren't used to here in Texas. Drought monitor right now has parts of the uh, Laredo and southern Texas into that severe drought. And if we zoom in here for parts of the Concho Valley, we are looking at abnormally dry conditions for parts of Reagan County, Erie County, and also Mason and uh, McCullough County out towards Brady. And as a result, the Concho Valley burn bans have included McCullough and Mason County as of recently. That includes now several uh, regions across the area, including Tom Green County here. So tonight, 87 degrees. It's going to be a rather pleasant evening. Once again, you got a few more hours to come out and get that blizzard. Clear skies and light winds overnight will allow for a lot of radiation and cooling to take place. Another cool start. Our record low for tomorrow will be 61, so we could be hovering around that, maybe tying it for your early Friday morning. Your ice cream forecast is going to be an eat it fast for tomorrow. If you decide to get that blizzard a little later, 95 degrees, lots of sunshine and temperatures warming up. And as I talked about before, that warm Trend only continues back to 96 on Saturday. The winds do pick up on Sunday and Monday. Before you know it, we're right back uh, with that West Texas heat, 100 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.